couple of things in place. First of all, you have to have an established training platform. Unfortunately, based on the vendor that you've selected for your DCS, for your SCADA, your ESD, fire and gas system, etc., there has to be some level of security training that these vendors provide. In your case, if, for example, you are a Schneider Electric customer, we provide a full, very, very detailed five days for host, three days for network, specific environment training based on your infrastructure. So it's your infrastructure specifically. It's not just you know, a, a generic training course. This includes hands-on training, very, very specific command and control, and of course, um, the, the, the materials that go along with it. So once we've established the fact that we can at least try and train our engineers to try and bridge that gap, the other most important thing that we see is really embracing your IT side as a filler. So let's say, for example, even after the training, you still feel that there's a gap. With the maintenance program, we could utilize folks that you have that are trained, that are certified, that do have the experience in a limited capacity to do the minor. And with that being said, if you tie that up with a maintenance contract, then you've successfully bridged the gap as much as you possibly can. Thank you. Right answer. My pleasure. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, definitely Jay's going to